Good day students. Welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to carry out order of operations. Do not forget to visit our website at math.serve.com for access to a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. All right. Before we start doing some examples, let's go ahead and write down an acronym that will help guide our problem solving process. Okay, so this is PEMDAS. PEMDAS. And an easy way to remember this is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. If we want to write down what this means in the accurate order, of course, this is um, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. The accurate representation of the order of operations is as follows. You have um, parenthesis comes first, and then E. So the first is P for parenthesis, E for exponent, and then M and D, they have the same hierarchy, okay? In the order of things, um, M and D are on the same level, but you execute them from left to right, okay? So what does that mean? When you have multiplication and division, whichever one comes first from left, to write, that's the one that you execute first, okay? Addition and subtraction are also on the same hierarchy. Um, whichever one comes first from left to right, that's um, how the one you execute first. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, multiplication and division are in the same order, in the same group, sorry, from left to right, whichever comes first. Addition and subtraction are in the same group, whichever one comes first from left to right. Okay, so that's basically what the order of operations um, is. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Problem number one. Let's find the value of j times h times j divided by 3 minus j where h is equal to 5 and j is equal to 3. Okay, so to figure this out, we're going to plug in these values into this expression. So the expression again is j times hj divided by 3 minus j, okay? So let's substitute the values in. So for j, we have 3 times hj is h is three, uh, 5, 5 times j, which is 3, divided by 3 minus j, which is 3. Okay, so all we did here is just, we just substituted the value of h and j into this equation. Okay, so if we write down our order of operations again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we're going to have to resolve the parentheses first. What does that mean? That means that we have to resolve what's inside this parenthesis first, okay? So now if we take a look at what's inside the parenthesis, we notice that we have to apply the order of operations here, okay? We have multiplication, division, and subtraction. Now, which do we do first? Remember, multiplication and division 
have a higher order than addition and subtraction. So which one do we do first? Do we multiply or divide first? Well, we'll multiply first and then divide because we're going from left to right. Okay, so we have three parentheses, five times three is 15, divided by three minus three. Now, what are we going to do next? Remember, division and addition are in different categories. Okay, division is of a higher order than subtraction, as you can see here. So we have three, we have to do the division next. 15 divided by 3 is 5 minus 3. Okay? Now, what are we to do next? We're going to do the subtraction. Remember, all we are doing is the parentheses. We have to simplify what's in the parentheses completely first before we um, do anything else. Okay? So we have 3 times 2. And then now we can multiply and we get six. So there goes your final answer. Now let's take a look at another example, problem number two. Find, find y times y minus z minus x plus four, where x is equal to 5, y is equal to 4, and z is equal to 1. Okay, so we're going to plug in these values into this expression. So we'll have 4 times 4 minus z, which is 1, minus x plus 4, which is 5 plus 4. So which operation do we carry out first? Let's go ahead and write down our guide, our mnemonic device. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so we see that the highest order that we have to execute first is P, the parentheses piece. So we have to evaluate what's in these parentheses first. Okay? So we will have 4 times 4 minus 1, 3, minus 5 plus 4, 9. Okay? Now that we're done with the parentheses, we can now shift to the next operation. We have multiplication here and subtraction here. Which comes first in the order of operations? Remember, multiplication and division go together from left to right. And then in the least order, the last operation you carry out is addition and subtraction. So what we're going to do first here is multiply, okay? So 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 9. Now we can subtract for S. 12 minus 9 is 3. So there goes your final answer. Let's take a look at one more example. Problem 3. So for problem 3, let's find p squared times 6p minus m, where m is equal to 4 and p is equal to 2. Okay? Now, um, let's substitute the value of each variable for their uh, values. So we're going to have, instead of p squared, we have 2 squared times 6 times, instead of p, we have 2 minus m, which is 4. Okay? Now, let's see. What do we do first? We have parentheses. We have multiplication, subtraction in the parentheses. And we have exponent. 
let's rewrite our mnemonic device. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses has to be resolved first. Okay, so we have two square. We have to resolve what is in this parentheses. Now six times two, n minus four. The first thing we do is multiply because multiplication has a higher order than, a, than subtraction. So six times two is 12 minus four. And then we still have to focus our attention in the parentheses, two squared times 12 minus four is eight. Two squared is four times eight. Notice I just did the, I just exponentiated this term right here to raise two to the second power. Now four times eight, we can now multiply the last operation left and we end up with 32. Okay, so that's basically how you use the order of operations. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.